hey guys, we're back. Now let's actually start clicking on some things, having some fun, right? There's all these tabs up here and within each tab there is literally a treasure chest in every tab. I, it sounds insane, but it's, it's absolutely incredible. If you come over here to the data tab, here's all the data that you can connect to. Now you'll notice that some of these are like custom data sets and some of them are like Shardar, they're US company fundamentals. You can actually purchase many of these NASDAQ data link data sets and basically almost all data that I know people realistically look at. You know, um, you can connect to interactive brokers and actually pull out uh, worldwide data sets, right? Like uh, global equities. It doesn't just simply have to be, you know, everyone thinks US, right? Everyone thinks tech stocks, right? That's what I think. When someone's talking about it, they're like, I'm talking about the market, they're thinking of Tesla, right? How do I catch Tesla on the way up or way down? Like, you can connect to Hong Kong, right? You could connect to Romania. You could connect to anybody that's got a feed through interactive brokers. You also have that ability. The cool thing about Quant Rocket is it comes with baseline pricing data sets, right? So we'll start with what the free tutorial is. How do we just get you up and running? How do we download things like that? And how do we just use the free data that comes with it? So you can explore long before you go into, you know, making purchases or, you know, signing up for the website. I'll make sure that I put all the links down below so that way you're able to follow along, go through the links and, you know, point, click, purchase, whatever you, whatever you might want. Um, you can see that there's really just, look, there's tons of data set delisted. I mean, they got end of day fund prices. That's pretty common, right? Shortable shares. That's pretty unique, right? Like how many shortable shares? That's not very, uh, common, right? Special margin requirements, borrower freeze, alpaca, easy to borrow stocks, right? Like this is all integration. Um, you can also go to Polygon and the cool thing about any of these, let's say there's a data set you love out there. There's like Polygon has a ton of data, right? Like uh, they have like live, they have live tick data, the whole nine yards. If you subscribe to it on Polygon, you can simply just pull it into Quant Rocket too. You're not held to any data set. You're not, you're not held to Quant Rocket. Quant Rocket is really think of it as the infrastructure you can bring in and mix in whatever you want. It's truly like an unlimited number of data sets you could bring in here. You can also search by you know asset classes, data frequency, geography, vendor, all this fun stuff. Um, I haven't even got to explore all these data sets, right? This is, this is uh, when I say this is no joke, this is a lifetime of data sets. If you really want to put deep research in, you could spend a lifetime. I have maybe touched 5% of these data sets I would say maybe five, maybe 10 over the course of the last five to six years because you think of an algorithm and then you just keep rolling on that and you realize you've been with the same data set for like three years and you've found good alpha and you're like, holy cow, that's only a data set, right? That's only like five of the thoughts that I've had. It's, it's infinite, truly infinite. If you come into the code, here's all the intros, right? And we're gonna start with some of these intros too. The Quant Rocket has their own uh, GitHub profile, so you can just easily come in and just start, uh, you can download from GitHub really fast and just start up and away, right? Like you don't have to sit there and go, what do I don't even know Quant Rocket, like how do I start things? How do I get data, right? Like all these things exist. The cool thing is if you have a Quantopian background or not even a Quantopian background, but you've stumbled upon them, they have the all the old school Quant Finance lectures. Um, so if you download this and it's now been adopted to Quant Rocket, so you can run like, I think they have over 40, it's something around 40 Quant Finance lectures. And a lot of these are other individual, uh, you know, research that other individuals have done, primarily Brian. Brian is the owner, uh, founder, and primary developer of Quant Rocket. Um, he's really built this incredible product. And a lot of this is individual research on his own. Um, that he's just bringing to Quant Rock to say like, look at all these things that you could do. Here's all these, you know, back tests. There's a blog, right? So it's like, hey, market cap versus dollar volume, which should you use for universe selection, right? If you're not familiar with universe selection, don't worry about that right now. That's not that big of a deal. Quality factor with alpha lens, right? Financial distress factors. There's just, these are just, again, the tip of the iceberg of what you could research on this platform. One of my favorite things is the docs, in my opinion. So here's installation, right? Pretty simple, you click on one of the four. You, we're gonna start with Windows or Mac. I'll, I'll download it raw on Mac. You'll notice that Mac and Windows are identical. The cool thing about the usage guide, right? It is, again, 
like unlimited. You can see how small my cursor is up here. This is how, like how you connect to IB if you'd like. This is how you do all these individual steps. This is how you do it in the command line, or this is how you do it in Python, or this is how you do it in HTTP. All these are, I mean, again, this is an unlimited number of items to go through, and we're just gonna touch the surface of what's possible. But my favorite thing about this is it is all documented. So I don't feel like I'm, I'm lost when I'm like, uh, I have no clue how to download new data, right? And I'm like, historical price data, all right. Oh yeah, I do need to create a US stock database. Okay, here's the method. And the other cool part about that is, even if I go really deep into the API reference, uh, everyone can say hello to Millie hanging out in the back. She's ready to be fed. Um, API reference, if you come in here, here's all the individual methods or functions that you may need and a phenomenal description of each. And beyond that, if you look inside, actually, there's a phenomenal gift Brian has up right now. All these are obtainable from within the Quant Rocket platform. So you don't have to, I, you know, a couple years back, you have to, you just have to kind of sit here and guess and go, oh, I think it's in the account, you know, class. I, I, I think it's in the account module. I think it's in the real time database module. Now you can simply come in and just start clicking on you. What you do is you click control, you hover and you literally click the control button while it's over and it will give you a description of the functions, the methods. It's kind of like a, it, it's a really performant IDE inside of it, right? So you're not just guessing. It is also integratable with Visual Studio Code. So you'll have that too if that's the environment that you're comfortable with. And then there's also like software updates, right? Like, hey, we just push a new thing, right? You can see a couple Docker um, commands, boom, you're up and running. There's also a support page, right? So if I go to like technical support, here you can read through all these individual, are my posts public, blah, blah, blah. Here's like a support forum, right? So this is how you talk to individuals or you get mainly, it's, it's when you stumble into a question that is also not on the support forum, right? We don't wanna put redundant questions. Most questions have been answered for most intro, um, topics, right? Like how do I get up? How do I get running? That's all done within the tutorials. These can be very specific things. I'm trying to connect to an EC2 instance behind a VPN and I keep getting this, you know, 500 error uh, when I connect or I keep getting like an Apple, uh, this used to be an M1 fix issue, right? When the new Macs came out, the Apple Silica. So these are pretty, you know, unique questions, but you can get them answered. Um, I used to answer, I used to ask questions just all the time. And as you get more proficient, uh, it kind of gets better. And the cool part about that is if you really get stuck, you can get support hours. But the best part is you have the docs to help you get through it if you have the time and you have the patience. You can see I used to ask data ingestion request issues or access key verifications or whatever the case is. Um, um, the docs and actually installing something, getting something running. That way we, we feel performant and you're gonna feel great right away. You're gonna get in and be like, holy cow, this is just like set up for me and I just like can get data. It's cool. It's really, really cool. And you can go to production. That's the thing, right? It's not just researching the stuff. It's the fact that you can just get to production relatively easily. This is the easiest way I found the ability to, to go into production with a quantitative algorithm so that you're not sitting there day in and day out for the rest of your life, hoping that you buy and sell at the right time of the day or whatever the case is. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.